Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Evelyn. First off, I did want to say thank you to everyone who wished me a safe delivery and for all the love you guys showed throughout my pregnancy. I did have my baby girl two weeks ago and we are so grateful that we are both doing very, very well. So I did want to say thank you to everyone for all your prayers and love. They mean so much to us. So I did take a little break from YouTube. I wanted to enjoy the first two weeks with my baby and as you all know, postpartum can be very difficult difficult we go through so many changes in our hormones and just in life it's a big big change but i wanted to come back on youtube because it's what brings me joy and peace i love creating content for you guys and decorating is my form of therapy and making me feel like myself again especially after having a new baby i love the saying that says you can't fill someone else's cup if your cup is empty and that's really true especially for moms we're filling our children's cup or our partner's cup and we forget about our own cup and decorating is how I fill my cup and creating content. So that actually brings me to today's sponsor which is BetterHelp. So thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. While I do use decorating as my form of therapy, sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes what can actually help us is speaking to a professional, a therapist who specializes in what we are struggling with such as postpartum or anything that you are struggling with personally. I know therapy can sound very scary and intimidating, but today's sponsor BetterHelp makes starting therapy a lot easier and less intimidating. With over 30,000 licensed therapists, you can find someone that matches your needs and preferences all from the comfort of your home, which is amazing for us new moms because we're so busy. Whether you prefer phone calls, video chats, or messaging, BetterHelp has got you covered. Plus, you can schedule sessions at times that work for you, making it perfect for us new moms. So if you or someone you know is struggling with postpartum or with any challenge, I highly encourage you to check out BetterHelp and give them a try. You can click the link in the description box or you can visit betterhelp.com slash Evelyn Hernandez to join over 4 million people taking charge of their mental health. And because they're sponsoring today's video, you can get 10% off your first month. So hopefully this is a step towards you feeling like yourself again again or it's that little push you need to start therapy so once again i'll have everything linked down below for you guys so that you guys can check them out and thank you once again better help for sponsoring today's video in today's video we are going to start spring decorating i'm going to be decorating my entryway and my living room so i hope you guys get lots of ideas and inspiration on how you can decorate your homes for spring and without further ado let's get started Starting off with the entryway, I have this hallway nook that I wanted to update for spring so I decided to purchase some Etsy prints and I had them printed at CVS so I did purchase both of these and I am going to be doing the Mod Podge trick on them so you just apply Mod Podge and it creates a texture kind of like a real painting. I have done this before on my channel and it's such an easy way to make prints look a lot more realistic. So once those were dry, I switched up the prints that I had already in the frames. The gold one is from Amazon and I did do a little DIY on it. I applied some wax to make it look a little bit more aged and then the wooden frame is from Target. So for the gold frame, I did have to cut the print. I ordered an 11 by 14 poster and then I just used the previous print to cut out the part that I wanted for the frame. I also wanted to switch up the greenery and I am a huge fan of baby's breath so I picked some up from my local grocery store and then I just created a little arrangement. I just cut some pieces from the stems and I added them to this vase that I got from McGee & Co. And I love how dainty it looks and how it adds a little touch of spring. I love how I was able to add some spring touches on a budget by just changing up the prints and adding some real greenery. And for the stool, it is a Facebook Marketplace find, but I know Walmart sells a very similar one. I added some books and then the baby's breath arrangement. 
And for my console table, I wanted to keep it very minimal, so I'm going to start off with this vase that I got from Home Goods. It's one of my absolute favorites, and I added some stems from Amazon. I added two books standing up. It's my absolute favorite look, as you guys can tell from my previous videos. And then I'm adding this stone plate that I actually DIY'd. I will have the video linked down below for you. And then I topped it off with a candle that was sent to me from an Instagram shop. And then on the other side, I'm using my brand new lamp that my husband actually Actually gifted to me as a push present so I'm so grateful that I finally have it so I'm so excited to be styling it in today's video and I also added a book and a magnifying glass from Amazon Moving on to my living room, as you guys know I do have built-ins in this room and to be honest these shelves are pretty hard to style because it is all about balance and making sure everything looks good together. But to start off on the left side I started off with two baskets on the bottom and then on the second shelf I'm adding two books standing up and this vase that I got from Etsy as well as this frame that I got from Home Goods. It did come with the print already and I love how it looks so I just kept it like that. I also added a coffee table book and then this travertine tray that I got from Target but Amazon does have a similar one. On the next shelf I added these bells that I got from Etsy. I have been having so much fun styling these in my home. They look good wherever I put them so I highly recommend these. And then next to that I added two coffee table books and then this bowl that I got from Target. And then on the last shelf I kept it very minimal. I just put this vase that I got from Etsy. I also wanted to add some greenery next to my TV so I'm using this vase that I got from interior greens and added the curly leaf stems from Hobby Lobby. Now moving on to the right side, I started off with this scallop tray from Amazon and I just placed our remotes in it and then next I'm adding a bowl for Magnolia Home and some coffee table books with these candlestick holders from Amazon. They are so pretty. And then on the next shelf I placed this frame that I got from Target. It is from their Studio McGee Spring Line. I added two coffee table books and topped it off with this candle holder from Hobby Lobby. Next to that I'm placing the viral Walmart vase with some German status from Hobby Lobby and then to finish it all off on the top shelf I'm using this storage box that I got from Target, some coffee table books and then a wooden pedestal from Amazon. Last but not least, we are going to be styling my sectional. It is from World Market. I started off with a throw blanket from Target and then these first two pillows are from Target as well and then the last lumbar pillow is from Michaels. And then on the other side, I added this blanket from Amazon. The first pillow is from Target. The second one is a pillow cover from Colin and & Finn and then the last lumbar pillow is also from Target. And then last but not least, in this corner, I used two pillow covers from Colin and & Finn and that completely completes this living room.
All right, you guys, that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me decorate my entryway and my living room. And I hope that you guys got lots of ideas and inspiration for spring. I'm so excited to be back filming content for you guys and decorating my home. Once again, thank you so much for all the love and support you guys show on my channel. It does not go unnoticed and it means so, so much to me. I appreciate all of you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.